Cosplayer. Not now. Master Polo is taking my likeness. Okay, then I'll talk to Master Polo. Yes, wonderful. Now, look a bit uh, up a bit and give me just a hint of pout. Perfect. Hold that pose. Do you mind if I watch you work? Mm, bad time. Terribly busy. If you look away... If I look away, I'll lose a moment. There, you see, just a glance at you and... By the golden hills, my lady, thou art a vision. Uh, oh, thank you. No, not you. No, no, not you. I'm pointing ladies of the commons, not unkept maidens of the wood. How about twigs and hair, clubs in hand? I'm not unkept. And I do not have twigs in my hair. No, it's your friend who's drew my eye. Such an uncalculated beauty, such accidental grace, my lady. Are you even conscious of your own power? But of course you are, and that is why I must capture. Uh, what, what did you say? Yes, your eyes, pale like the fall of a water over rocks, a native smile and a gorgeous mouth, yes. And the... And that artless tumble of hair, so untended and yet so real. My lady, you have very picture of pastoral beauty. <laughs> Looks like you have an admirer, Chandra. My lady, I must take your likeness. I insist upon it, and of matter of honor. My future as an artist lies in the balance, in your shapely, ever so slightly calloused hands. Um, I'm not sure whether to agree with him or attack him. I'm okay with either way. Do whichever one you want, Chandra. I'm behind you either way. Well, uh, all right. But if I get to look at it first before anyone sees it. Wonderful. I shall begin at once. You there. Clear out of my way. Hey. What's the big idea? You're supposed to be painting me. You said I was. You said I was very model of a womanly militaracy. Mediocrity, sorry. And indeed you are, milady, indisputably so. Now shoo, sure, artistic priorities have shifted, and one must always obey one's instincts. Go on, out of the way. Hmm. Now, Chandra, if you step over this way, and hold your head just so, and a hint of a smile. But a pneumatic. Yes, that is wonderful. There, not another stroke of the brush. My dear, I have captured your very soul, and made of you goddess, a goddess of the field and the sun, and the gentle breeze. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, I don't really look like that, do I? I'll buy it for you if you want, Chandra. If you like. No, no, no. You don't have to do that. Please, really, don't. I agree. We should probably move on. Apparently, I have to go comb the twigs out of my hair. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't look that good anyways, unless you squint. Leave it, I say. I fear I could never part with such a painting for less than 300 gold, you understand. 
I could get far more from a collector, but since you're friends, it's the subject. I feel obliged to discount price. Very well, 300 it is. Now the portrait is yours, my lord. I ask only that any that if anyone admires it, you tell them my name. This poor gnome is your humble debt. Uh, thanks. I, I can't get over how it looks, and uh, I appreciate your getting it. That was really kind of you. That was a nice thing to do. Everyone, follow me! See if you can top this one, love. Th that's all you got? Watch this! And what do you call that then, love? Ode to an angry banshee giving birth? Yeah, well, what was your song? Ode to a, a loot player who's not that good? I really must be off. It's getting late, and my mom... No, I, I mean my wife. My wife will be looking for me. Yes, uh, excuse me. Well, ladies and gents, I don't know what to tell you exactly. You were promised a battle of bards. Instead, you've had a massacre of instruments. And here I thought the 12th challenger might have something different to offer. Come now! Surely one of you out there has got himself a loot and a mind to step up and have a go with Kane Lethalon? Step right up then. Just remember to go easy on poor old Kane. Never had one bit of training my whole life. Uh, oh, yes. Not Kilgar. Grabnar. Let's see if you can do that. What's this? Come to challenge Kane, have you, love? That's right. Actually, I was hoping Grabnar could challenge you. Right. Here are the rules, then. Very simple. I play a tune, you play it back. Get it right, I have to play it again, defending my honour, so to speak. If I succeed, it's a draw. If I fail... You win the round. After four rounds, the crowd picks me as their beloved champion, and you go change your trousers before anyone notices the wet spot. Simple. And if I win? Or Grobnar? <laughs> Seriously, what do I get? Standard wager is loser gives up his loot. Now, my instrument is from such fine stock that taking the loser's loot's not exactly an upgrade, is it? So usually I'm a good sport and let him keep it. Or what's left of it after I snap it over his talentless head. So, if we win you, we get your loot. Couldn't tell you for certain, love. Never actually happened. Don't let that stop you. Come on, give us a shot then. Okay, let's play. That's the spirit, love. Have your loot ready? Mm, no, I don't have a loot, but I can go get one. Well, this one here's a fine musician, isn't he? Oh yeah, look at me. I'm gonna beat Kane Lethalon with a Gafagan imaginary loot. Ooh, look. I don't need a loot. I'll just walk near a baby with my horrible swamp stench and it'll cry me a beautiful symphony. Well, can I play without a loot or not? Here, take this one. <laughs> Always keep a loner on hand in case another of you lootless loonies comes up here thinking he's the next cane. Right, let's get on with the show. Ladies and gentlemen of Neverwinter, are you ready? I love you, Kane! See how you like this one, for starters. Your turn, love. Take all the time you need, no pressure. Just all of Neverwinter's well-to-do's watching your every move.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's supposed to be done. Can't have me shown up in front of my own crowd, now can we, mate? Sorry to say, but you're going to have a much harder time with this next one. Uh-oh, love. Really liked that one, didn't they? Yes, I think I can manage that. Let's see. Time to get serious now. Not fair of me to toy with you, is it? Right. I'm not playing down to your level any longer. Shh. Did you hear that? I could swear I just heard a noose tightening around your neck. Sure. You've had your fun, love, but I'm going to put an end to this. This is where we separate the master from the upstart. This is the last round. If we're going to win, we're going to need to work even harder than before. I'm sorry? Play with you? Why, I'd be honored. I'd be more than honored, whatever that word is that describes that. Well, love, I never thought I'd say it, but I've rather enjoyed this. And now that we're almost done, I'd be... honoured to have your autograph. It takes a big person to admit that. I'd be happy to. I mean, the autograph of a musician so bad he made the audience's ears actually cry. Yeah, it's got to be worth something, right? Can I get your autograph too, Kane? Sure, I can make ears cry, but not every day I meet someone who can make them vomit. It doesn't matter. The crowd likes me more. That's all that matters now. Well, what say, ladies and gents? Am I your man? Or is it this thing? Come on, let's have a cheer for good old Kane! Now, who thinks this 
rather unfortunate person should win. I'll remind you, pity applause will only encourage him. Unthinkable! This... this amateur! This godforsaken blight on music! No offence, love. Did I miss something, or did you just lose? Here, take the loot. No, I don't even want it anymore. I'd never have lost to you if it weren't for this. And the third-rate crowd. Grubnar, looks like you got an upgrade. Hope you enjoy it. Ah, uh, Eldenons. We have Empty Estate and Collector. these individuals doing? I told you to go home, Kylie. No, you're not supposed to be going into the graveyard. I swear I'll tell father. You little rat, you wouldn't. She'll ruin everything, Lisbeth. Shut her up or I will. Are these ladies bothering you, little girl? We're not bothering anybody. It's nothing. We're just trying to get rid of my little sister. That's right. So go away and mind your business. It isn't nothing. They're going into that old crypt. A bunch of boys. And father told Lisbeth not to. A crypt. I do not believe that is legal. As I'm with the watch, I'm gonna have to dissuade you from doing so. It... it's not... it's not really... Of course it's legal, Svana. He's trying to scare you. Come on, let's go. Don't let me catch you following us, Kelly. Or I'll let Raven hurt you. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Then I meant not you. They're so stupid. I'll tell... I'll never be like that. Never. A graveyard is no place for childish games. We used to play hide-and-seek in there, but now it's gotten creepy. Raven says she likes it, but I bet she's lying. Anyway, they're just hanging around with boys again. Lisbeth thinks I don't know anything, but I'm not. I'm a lot smarter than Svana. She never comes home anymore, and Father's always sits up, waits, and she doesn't even care. I hate it. How about I go find your sister? Are you sure? There's boys down there with Lisbeth, too, and they're dark and depressing and mean, just like Raven. 
Trust us, we can help. Our leaders faced much, much worse on our journeys than dark clad boys. I hate that way those boys look at her. You really think you could get her home? Don't worry, I will bring your sister home safe. I sometimes forget there is a side of you that isn't about battle and combat. It's good to see. This bit is our, our in our granddad's crypt, the middle one with the name Bryce on it. The door there isn't always, always go. I think Lisbeth stole the key from father. Just please, please don't hurt her, alright? Follow me, everyone. Grab a buddy and let's head out. What? Hey, who invited them? Perhaps you all should be better off getting a room in Moonstone Mask. You nether pans, we can do whatever we want. And it's none of your business. Anyways, this is private party. Nobody invited you. Mm-hmm. Someone's in trouble. I agree, let's go. You kids, get out of here. This isn't safe. You can't tell us what to do. Our friends are in there. We're staying right here. Don't say I didn't warn you. What do we do now? The thralls, they're all dead. You slaughtered them. Do you have any idea how long it took us to raise those things? Raise them? My fault, Vera. He came in looking for Lisbeth, but it was only the six of us, and I didn't think he'd have a chance against your uh, friends, the dead ones, I mean. Whatever darkness has ensnared you, it's not too late to turn away. Oh please, you're still trying to rescue us. You're not our parents, you're just some silly, th smelly thug. We warned you, you weren't invited, but you came in here anyways. He can't handle all of us, we'll give his corpse to Avril. He'll bind his soul to serve the king. I'll bet he lets us watch. His darkness is truth. His shadow will cleanse the world. Alright. 
Next time, can we talk to them? No, they're undead. We don't talk to undead. This as well. Ready to die? It's him. What do we do? Shut your mouth, Svana. You sound like a scared little girl. If we die, we'll rise again in the shadow. You heard what Aravel said. Do you truly believe that, Svana? I I don't know. Don't listen to it, Svana. Think about this bit in me. We're your friends, remember? What kind of friends would ask you to throw your life away? He's right, Raven. I don't want to die. I just want to meet boys, normal boys, not these weirdos who wear makeup and dress in black. It's funny, you stupid cow. You take that back. No, no, I'm sick of you pushing me around. Raven, you're not even half as pretty as Lisbeth. That's why Arival picked her instead of you. You want to die with them, Svana? Fine. But uh, you'll be a lot smarter as a guest anyways. By the shadows of Merdelaine. This is most <laughs> fortunate. Well, oh, God, oh, God, Raven, Raven, dead, isn't she? Calm down. You know the way out of here, right? Yes, sure. I mean, yeah, we, we mean, I guess. Run for the exit. The way is clear. Get to the surface and tell Kylie that I'm going to find her sister. I'll, I'll tell her, I promise, and I'll never come back to this graveyard, I swear. Oh, I'm so stupid. Just like Raven always said.
May the King of Shadow forgive you, embrace him, and know the light of the illusion that is. The shadow is an illusion, the sun burns the shadow away. A common misconception, light is but a flick, passing thing when the sun has set, a man's little torches have guttered out, then what you see is true face of our world. In the shadow the world began, and to the shadow it will inevitably return. Release Lisbet and surrender yourselves. I'll see that you receive a fair trial. Fair? By whose assessment? Your priests and their false gods. I look up upon your trials, upon your justice, and I witness folly. There is no truth but shadow, and no justice but that handed down by the servants. Besides, Lisbeth has a part to play here. She will be one of the first to achieve divine union with her king. Not that crude undeath which lies in store for you, but true joining of souls. And it is only the first step. I have unearthed truths known long ago, and I have already sent word of my discoveries to my brothers and sisters in shadow. Last chance to surrender. And I say again, may the King of Shadow forgive you for your speak in his ignorance. I pity you truly. Ah, well, death will render you far more compliant. We'll speak again, I think, after you've breathed your last. And here we go again. for me. He isn't dead. I can bring him back. He's really gone. No, it worked fine. Or did you miss the whole thing with the shadows and the fighting and such? No, no. Don't understand. The ritual didn't work. I wasn't strong enough. Those shadows were just echoes. Aravel and the others, they should have been joined with the King of Shadows, don't you see? That's why we made all these symbols and their markings. I said the words, but I was too weak. And how did Erevel learn of this? I don't know. I had the books, but he never let any of us look at them. Erevel said he loved me and said that we'd united in shadow, joined with the beautiful ancient beings. I do not think Erevel really loved anybody this bit. Those words, I said, they'll have raised everyone in the crypt. All the people you've killed will be waiting for us as shadows. Stay close then, I'll get you out. If what she says is true about the ritual is true, we should search the room. There may be something we could bring to Lord Nasher. Already done that. Give me 
a moment. Give me a moment. Oh, my God. 